What solutions can artificial intelligence offer us in the wake of this global pandemic? And how has its deployment been accelerated in sectors from healthcare to education? I've come to AI Everything, the first major event in Dubai since lockdown, to find out just that. Now, well, the issue with the pandemic, when you look at the pandemic, is that it's a moving target. It spreads very fast. Uh, there's a lot of touch points. So you can't really have people go and sift through all of that data to understand how things are changing across the ground. So there's a lot of work done on using AI for simulation purposes, understanding as well the spread, using AI as well, and creating strategies to contain the spread of the virus. On stage at the event, one private hospital CEO said he was surprised at just how much AI had helped predict demand during the pandemic. I remember the first meeting that we attended at the Disaster and Crisis Committee and how all the private sectors really got surprised by the government that they utilizing the AI, they gave us the predictions and very clear on how many cases will come to the, to the way new EVA law, how about the consumables and equipment that we need, how many ICU and critical bed that we require. One successful recent application has been with AI-powered robotic surgeons, which help human surgeons reduce complications and eliminate infections in surgery. Our robotic surgery operate 105 cases on patients during the pandemic, on patients with extremely high risk, with zero infections, zero complications. Surgeons uh, tend to be uh, a tough crowd to work with when it comes to convincing them that this is concerned with more patient safety, better outcome, better efficiency. I think they're, they go with the flow there and they, they, they turn out to be champions of certain uh, technologies as well. In education, distance learning and homeschooling has reminded parents of the importance of quality teaching. And that's one area where many experts believe the human touch is truly irreplaceable. They signed up to connect with the child, to teach the child about him or herself, and to teach the child about the world around them. AI is not going to do that. So I think it, it, really, it really brought or re-established the teaching as, as a profession and what is it supposed to be all about. What technology has done, it has amplified our connectivity, hence and therefore our, our humanity. Because of the pandemic, it showed us how important is our, our humanity. Nearby at the Dubai Future Foundation, work is underway on the governance of AI in pedagogy, and the human is front and center. So how do we ensure that the AI that's used in education and actually in toys is ethical and responsible and that actually protects children's privacy? So we've seen the use of AI in actually supporting children with autism learn emotions, um, and that's done through kind of AI, what we call like smart toys. Um, but what we're very interested in looking at is also how AI can help teachers to teach better. So that's things like understanding how a student learns, looking at kind of the pattern recognition, and then being able to adapt to that. These are tools that will support, but these are not tools that will replace. Across the board, from nurseries to surgeries, the pandemic rapidly accelerated the adoption of AI. Some things will always just need that human touch.